question number seven from S1, January 2011, GCE. Um, this is S1 statistics, uh, question about probability. The bag P contains six balls of which three are red and three are yellow. The bag Q contains seven balls of which four are red and three are yellow. A ball is drawn at random from bag P and placed in bag Q. A second ball is drawn at random from bag P and placed in bag Q. Okay, so it's like a lot of things going on here. A third ball is then drawn at random from the nine balls in bag Q. So basically, you're getting, um, you're picking a ball from bag P, putting it in bag Q. Then you're picking another ball from bag P after you've picked the first ball from bag P. So there's one less ball in bag P, putting that in bag Q. So now bag Q has two more balls than it, when it started with. And then finally, you take a ball out of bag Q. So there's three things happening. So the first is like pick one um, from bag Q, BP, sorry. The second one is the second pick from bag P. And the third one is a pick from bag Q. Okay, so now we've got to fill in this tree diagram. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to say, okay, let's have a look at things that we, all, we, we don't need to think about where they already gave us the answers. Like, for example, the first pick, of course, that's going to be quite obvious because bag P, there's three, three, three out of six and three out of six. That's a half and a half. Okay, here they already told us what this probability is, two fifths and three fifths. If you picked a red and then a yellow and... Um, a red from bag P, then a yellow from bag P, okay, and they've already told us here the probability of this is 5 over 9, so we know that these branches must add up to 1, so that's going to be 4 over 9, and here we know that's 5 over 9, so this must be 4 over 9. So I filled in the things that we uh, don't need to calculate, so let's now look at what we do need to calculate. So I'm going to look at the situation where you pick uh, a red from the, first um, from the first bag and find the probability of picking a red from the second bag okay we've done that so let's look at the probability if you picked a red from the first bag and you picked a red from the second bag what's the probability of picking a red or a yellow from the from q after you've done this so let's let's look at what's happening there so you have bag p and bag q so bag p has initially bag p has initially six okay total of six three reds and three yellows. Bag Q initially has seven. You got four reds and three yellows. Okay. Now, when you pick a ball from bag P and it's a red ball, there's now two reds left in bag P. And there are now five red balls in bag Q because you've taken it out from P and put it into Q. Now, so that makes a probability of picking another red Okay, two out of five, yes. I'm picking a, another yellow, three out of five. Okay, now we're going to take another ball from bag P and put it into bag Q. So now in bag P, you've got one red. And in bag Q, you've got six reds. So now, if you've picked a red, if you've picked a red first and second from bag P, so you've picked a red ball from bag P and then picked another red ball from bag P and you've put both those red balls into bag Q, the probability of picking... A red ball from bag Q will then become 6 out of 9. 6 out of 9. Okay, so that's going to be 6 over 9. I'll write it in its unsimplified form. So then this must, of course, be 3 out of 9. And that makes sense because there are 3 yellows left out of 9. Okay, so we've looked at that probability. We look at that possibility. So now we can deal with this situation here. Picking a yellow first and then what happens after that. Okay. So let's start again and redraw this with the situation where you pick a yellow first from bag P. Okay, so you've got, um, you start off with three reds and three yellows. And here you start off with four reds and three yellows. And three yellows. Okay, so if you picked a, a yellow ball from the first bag, you now got two yellow balls left in the first bag. And then you're going to pick again from the first bag. Now the probability, and, and th that yellow ball went, went in here, so now that's going to be four yellows in here, right? You picked a yellow here, you put it into there, four yellows. Now, so the probability of picking a yellow ball from, uh, the probability of picking a yellow ball, uh, sorry, a red ball, if you picked a yellow first, is going to be three out of five. There's now five balls left in here. 
So you got three out of five probability of picking a red if you picked a yellow first. So you got three out of five, and the probability of picking a yellow after picking a yellow first will will become um, two out of five because there's now two yellows in there. So you got two out of five over here. Okay, so that's two fifths. Now. The second thing that happens is you pick again from bag P and let's look at the different scenarios. Okay, if you pick again from bag P, well, the red part of it is already taken care of. It's already been given the answer. That was five over nine, that must be four over nine. So let's deal with picking another yellow from, from bag P. So now we've got uh, to think about picking another yellow from bag P. So if you picked another yellow, okay, um, you're gonna have one yellow and here you're going to have five yellows okay so the probability now of picking so so basically you picked a red and then you picked a yellow okay so now the yellow has been picked so now there's four reds and five yellows in this bag q and there's three reds and one yellow so you've picked a yellow and then another yellow so there's two less balls in here there's four and here you've picked you've added a yellow and then another, another yellow so that now there's nine balls in here and the yellows have increased from three to five okay that makes sense now all right so now we need to the the, the last thing that happens is we pick from this bag q okay so the probability of picking a red in this situation is going to be four over nine and the probability of picking a yellow is going to be five over nine and there we have completed our probability tree okay that was a bit of a palaver there but we managed to get it done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tree and put it on the next page and answer the questions. I'll pause the video while I do that. Okay, so I've taken uh, the diagram and I've put it onto this page here. Um, the next page, so we can see all the probabilities. We've got to find the probability of A. Now, what's the probability of A? Let's just go back here and find out what it is. Here we have it. Let me just copy that so we can see. Um, what A is, A and B, we need to know what they are. Okay, so they've told us that the probability, um, the event A is when you have two balls from bag P of the same color. And the event B is when the ball drawn from bag Q is red. So let's look at all the different outcomes here. Okay, so you end up here, this is a red, red and a red, this is two reds, and a yellow. This is a red, yellow, and a red, and a red, and this is going to be a red, yellow, yellow, red, yellow, yellow, and then you got these ones with the yellows first, so it was yellow and two reds, a yellow, red, and a yellow, a yellow, a yellow, and a red, and three yellows. Okay, so we've got to find the probability of A. Okay, the probability of A is when the two balls from bag P are of the same color. So basically, when you end up with either this outcome, or this outcome, or this outcome, or that outcome. Okay, where you end up with the two balls in bag P being of the same color. So uh, two reds, two reds, two yellows, two yellows. Okay, so that could be found, I guess, by just looking at these two without looking at the third. We don't have to worry about the third one. So we could say, basically, that's going to be a half times two fifths. Okay, that's two reds. Okay, and um, a half times two fifths, that would cover those two. Okay, plus, and you're gonna have a half times, um, again, two fifths. That would cover all those possibilities because we're only worried about the first two picks there okay so that's two reds and that's two yellows okay so you're going to have that's going to be one fifth plus one fifth which is two fifths one plus fifth plus one fifth is two fifths so that's the probability for part b okay then it says part c show that the probability of b equals five over nine okay the probability of b is what the probability of b is the event is when the ball drawn from bag Q is red. Okay, so this is the ball from bag Q, the third pick. So you're gonna have basically this, plus this, plus this, plus that, those four probabilities. 
So it's red, 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 and red, yellow, red. Okay, so you have the probability of three reds, red, yellow, red, yellow, and two reds, yellow, yellow, red. So these four probabilities I have to add together for the probability of B. So I've got to have, I'm going to have basically the probability of B is going to be a half times two fifths times six over nine plus okay and we're gonna have that's one that's the second one is here it's gonna be a half plus three fifths times five over nine so you have a half times three fifths times five over nine okay plus you're gonna have the next one which is this one over here which is yellow red red so it's a half times three fifths times five over nine half times three fifths times five over nine just make sure it's a, that's also yep same as that okay and then you're going to have finally yellow yellow and red so you're going to have plus a half times two fifths times four over nine okay so we got to add all these together and see what we get i'll just use a calculator for that although it's probably not too difficult to do it because things cancel out but anyway let's just do this all in the calculator it's going to have a half times two fifths be careful about your um times and pluses here times two fifths times six over nine which is two thirds basically. All right, plus, and you're going to have a half times three fifths times five over nine. Okay, plus, and you've got the third one, a half times three-fifths oops be careful times three-fifths times five over nine basically the same as the last one isn't it okay close the bracket and plus the final one a half times two-fifths oops a half Oh, don't let me do it run out of space okay let's find out what this is and then add that to the last one which is a half times two fifths sorry times two fifths and times four over nine and that gives us five over nine Okay, that's so that okay well, well okay good so we know we're on the right tracks we did the right thing there good okay so show that pb probability b is five over nine we've shown that now let's go on to d it says show that the probability of a intersection b is two over nine okay so now what's a intersection b a intersection b is that the two balls have to be the same color and q has to be red so basically you're looking for this outcome the two first balls are the same color and the last ball is red and we're looking for this outcome as well the two first balls are the same color and um, the last ball is red so two reds and a red or two yellows and a red so we're looking for these two outcomes here okay so we want to combine these two outcomes and that will be p intersection uh, that will be um, a intersection b the probability of a intersection b is when the first two are the same color okay that's event a and also q has to be red so both those conditions have to be satisfied so you've got a half times two fifths times six over nine a half half times two fifths a half times two fifths times six over nine which is basically this plus and then you got two yellows and a red, which is going to be a half times two fifths times four over nine, plus a half times two fifths 
times 4 over 9. Okay, so what's going to happen here? Um, that's going to be 2, that's, that's, that 2 will cancel with that 2, and that 6 will cancel with that 9, that will be 2 over 3. Okay, so you're going to end up with 2 over 15, plus the 2 cancel with the 2, and you'll have 4 over 5 nines of 45. You've got to make them the same denominator. You can make them both over 45. That's 6 over 45 plus 4 over 45, which gives you 10 over 45. And both of these are divisible by 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2, and 45 divided by 5 is 9. And voila, we got it. Okay, good. So that's P, the probability of A in section B. Both A and B have to be satisfied. So the first two balls have to be the same color and the last one has to be red. So it's just these two that satisfy that. Okay, and then it says, 